running the Newport Marathon tomorrow. 26.2 miles, bright and early. The race starts at 7.30 a.m. I haven't picked up my bib yet, and bib pickup is between 5.30 and 7.15. I live like 45 to 50 minutes from Newport, so it's gonna take me, you know, I'm gonna budget an hour to get there because I bet there will be traffic at five in the morning. So I think I'm gonna leave my house, what time did I say? Oh, I'm gonna leave my house at 5.30 is what I wrote down this morning when I was journaling my plans. But I'm planning out everything the night before. Obviously a hugely important part of this is what I'm gonna wear. Not just to look good, but also like what you wear in a marathon matters a lot because it's you're gonna be running, you're traversing 26.2 miles in that outfit. So you have to wear clothes that can keep up with you, basically. This is where I keep, well not, in these drawers is where I keep most of my athletic clothes. I have a sense of what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna show you guys my options. Wait, I haven't even checked what the temperature is gonna be. Because now I'm realizing I have so many cute squirts I could also run in. So we gotta check the temp. Okay, so it's gonna be in the high 50s. Not that windy, which is so nice. Slight chance of precipitation, but not really until the evening. I don't know why I just said precipitation. There's a slight chance of rain. <laughs> Look at me. Miss Meteorol- I can't even say it. Meteor meteorology. I don't have to run in leggings. Ugh, I'm so torn. I have so many cute fits I could wear, but I'm like, I just don't know which one I should roll up in. But I really should not spend too much time worrying about it. Because really what I should be worrying about is whether I'll be able to finish this race. Because to be totally honest, you guys, I don't feel very prepared. Ever since I started grad school, I like fell off my long run game. I've been running pretty much every day, four to four to six times a week, but little runs. Like I'm going three to five miles. And marathon training is, I feel like you, you, it really doesn't matter what you do five of the six days of the week. What matters though is you get at least one long run day. Well, one could say I'm in a pickle. <laughs> I did a marathon, a trail marathon in Big Sur. It's not the famous Big Sur marathon. It was a different one, still very beautiful. I, it had over, it had almost 6,000 feet of ele elevation gain in it. I could not have been in worse shape for this marathon. Like I did it, I had a friend visiting. I was like, let's go camping in Big Sur and let's sign up for this like little trail marathon. Midway through, I thought I might have to stop, but thank God I was with my friend because we kept going. And then what was so weird is the second half of the marathon was weirdly easy. Like... I felt fine. I did pound some Advil, but mostly was a totally fine marathon. Finished, and literally we went to lunch afterwards and I had a salad. What? Who, who eats a salad after a marathon? I just felt like so normal. Was I in pain the week after? And yeah, yes I was. A lot of pain. But I didn't get injured. I was very much fine. That was also four years ago. I don't know if I have quite the young nimble body that I used to have that allowed for that, but we're just gonna pretend like, like I still got it. <laughs> I'm also not in like, I'm definitely in better shape now than I was for that marathon. This is what we're working with, with fit options. I've basically boiled it down to two. A long sleeve and the fabric is just like really lightweight, kind of sheer. It's just a good running shirt. You guys may have seen, I did a little collab with OV with the snack line, which is this, their new drop. These pants have a lot of little pockets for snacks, like a little zipper moment here sort of thing. And then I can attach this little pouch, which is actually ideal for a marathon. However, then I have this outfit option, which is mostly free people stuff. I feel like these are such fun fall colors. We kind of have this like brown legging, this orange top, which is, it's like a bra top. I would wear it as my bra. Very cute. And a long sleeve that I love. You guys can understand why I'm torn, right? Let me think about it. I need like five minutes to think about it. I figured it out. It's almost nighttime, but I figured it out. So I'm gonna wear this OV top. The one thing I didn't figure out was whether I'm wearing tie-dye socks or just basic Nike mid calves. So we're going to leave both out for tomorrow morning. I'm going to wear the OV snack um, leggings because, you know, having places for snacks during a run is really important and these just make sense for a marathon. 
And then I'm gonna wear the um, long sleeve that I showed you guys. And then just, I won't race in this, but just stay warm before the race. I'm gonna wear this little snap up fleece. It's so cute. It is for people and I love it. I feel very good about this. I feel good about the outfit. Oh, I'll show you guys the shoes I'm wearing. I have quite the collection of hokas. I think I'll probably run in my Arahis, which are these. They're a little less cushioned than the Clifton's. These are the Arahis. I have done a lot of runs in my Clifton's though. Maybe I'll run in my Clifton's. The Arahis are a little more performance driven just because they're like uh, not, not as much cushion. I really enjoy running in my Arahis. Basically, I haven't figured that out yet. I'm just gonna decide morning of which shoes I'd rather run in because both are great. Smells a little funky, but I've only ever put water in here. My box of goos. I really don't have that many left, which I feel good about because when I first got this box, I was like, I'm never gonna be able to eat all this goo. And lo and behold, your girl consumed a lot of goo. They're gonna have goos at the aid station, so I don't have to be like super on top of like what miles I'm gonna try and eat at. I think I'll pre be pretty much all set. I'm just gonna bring three just in case, which is kind of overkill. I'm definitely not gonna eat all three of these, but I probably will eat at least one because there's always a moment in a race where I'm like, Ugh, I need something, like I need a little bit of fuel and I'm like not close enough to an aid station for it to make sense. I always bring some of my own stuff and that's advice I would give to first time marathoners as well. I don't really have that many choices. I prefer like the chocolate caramel vanilla flavors. That's why I only have the berry ones left. This one looks so intense and it doesn't have caffeine which is like why look intense if you're not gonna have caffeine so these are the three i'm bringing oh wait i actually do have a chocolate goo left because i ran in with the outdoor voices little pouch and i put one in here that i didn't eat so we're gonna keep that in there honestly i might take away the strawberry kiwi rock team because i want caffeine <laughs> because I'm an addict, honestly. I'm gonna put my two goos in my backpack. I just filled this up with water. It's pretty full. It's kind of heavy, but it will lighten up as the race progresses. One chocolate goo is going in here. I'm gonna put that on my leggings. As I'm like getting ready or like showing you guys what I'm wearing, I'm getting so like giddy for this race tomorrow. I was kind of feeling like stressed and down about it all day today because I was like, oh, why didn't I prepare better? Blah, blah, blah. But now that it's like, there's nothing more I can do. I did what I did. It set me up for whatever tomorrow is gonna be, but might as well embrace the situation I'm in. Oh, one thing I want, oh, ignore the fly. But I made these beautiful, these are cheddar date scones from our queen, Molly Boz, her cookbook, love her. Scones turned out really good. So we got takeout for tonight and I am eating pasta meatballs, which for me is like an ideal pre-race meal because a lot of carbs, we got that protein, I eat meat. This is what I'm eating for dinner. Yum. Patches that I'll put on when I get closer. I already put sunscreen on, but I'll bring a little bit more sunscreen. Phone. 
charger for the camera so I can keep filming this. Well, I'm not gonna wear my camel back right now, so I'll put that in here. My fleecy. Most importantly, I'm gonna bring a little Advil. Oh my God, and headphones. Can you imagine if I didn't bring my headphones? Fortunately, I forgot to make a specific running playlist for this marathon. So I'm just gonna use my other running playlist, which is a good playlist. Summer running. I'm making some oatmeal to go. I don't really wanna eat right now. It's still only 522. So I'll probably eat it like near the end of the, the drive. Putting about yay oatmeal. Sweet oatmeal. Yum. It's actually pretty perfect. I don't want to eat too early. In college, when I rode, typically the rule was eat two hours before your race. I feel like this mar marathons are so long. It's probably like right at an hour right before. You know what's kind of wild, you guys? Why I have so much energy right now and I haven't had my coffee. You guys know I'm, I'm very dependent on coffee. And I feel great right now. <laughs> I think I'm kind of nervous. And when you're nervous, that's its own sort of caffeine. Here's my beautiful, cute chauffeur. <laughs> just got here and this is the parking lot but I have to take a shuttle to the start line oh here we go okay so I'm gonna put a little icy patch on my back this it's kind of like tiger bomb it's like so super sticky and this will make me feel tingly Okay, we're here. I had my first porta potty stop. It was unsuccessful, unfortunately. I'm in line for the bag drop right now. This is what it looks like. Mile point two three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to make a video right now. It's so hard. <laughs> okay, just past mile six. I got my goo. I had a goo at mile four and honestly it helped me so much. It's so beautiful right now. I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's windy, but I'm feeling good. Okay, we're at mile. A little over mile nine and we're going to this beautiful neighborhood of mansions my legs are hurting and I have 15 more miles to run so it's a little daunting but the thing about running is like you can be in so much pain to like two miles and then if you just push through it you come out of the hole so that's what I'm telling myself in this moment Okay, we're in the double digits. Mile 10. Beach. <laughs> the half marathon's about to finish. So we're approaching halfway. I just ate a banana. Is a good banana. And that's kind of the main update right now.
I just passed mile 19. Seven more miles to go. Feeling good. I've passed mile 24. 2.2 2 to go. I'm in a lot of pain, I'm gonna be honest. But the end is in sight. That's what's keeping me yeah, going. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. I'm in the car. We just got shuttled back to the parking lot. Oh, geez, Louise. Thank God I cut my hair because my ponytail would be a disaster right now. But luckily, I have this little nub that doesn't get too tangly. You know, for me, finishing a marathon is always a W. It's always a win, no matter what my time is. I was just trying to look up my time and I don't think it's been posted yet. Maybe I'll check back in once I can look that up, but I'll definitely post my time on TikTok. Very much a recreational runner. Like running for me is a sport of joy. It's not a sport of competition. And that's a little bit because I was like so burnt out from being a competitive athlete for so many years when I rode in college and in high school. So I really wanted to like latch onto a sport. The only purpose in my life is to bring me joy and to give me something to do. I also, I was just talking to this lady on the bus. She's like, recognized me and she's like, Lydia, I love your TikToks, which was really sweet. But her daughter was like, they, they live in Florida and they're like, you gotta come for the Disney marathon. And I do think running like surfing is a really great sport that gives you an excuse to travel. Look, this is part of the the course guys. I know I was there and we all did the same distance but I do feel bad for these people who are like what did they oh, okay I guess this is mile 24 so that they're in the home stretch. If you're not a fan of like out and backs in marathons there were quite a few out and backs in this race like we went to a lot of dead ends and then like circled the definition of an out and back. Hey go Lydia go Lydia. <laughs> this is the sweetest pee. No.